Hey, what to do with the business is? It is another week in the books with the On Deck TV show. I am Man, your boy, Animal Brown, Animal underscore Brown, if you're looking for me on socials. Absolutely, man. And I am Spike Lou on them same social sites. AB, how you feeling this week? Hey, I'm feeling good, feeling great. A very, very, very active week in hip hop, to say the very least. Very active. One of the most active we've seen in recent history. And because of the activity, we had to bring in a special guest, man. Absolutely. We had to get a younger generation in here on the on, on the show, man. And give some more perspective than we may be able to provide. People love when Nikki Duce come through, man. This is another aspect of that generation. A little older than Nick, though, I think, okay. man. Mo might be closer to our age. Uh, <laughs> but, man, if, if, if you're listening to Another Week in the Books, man, the other show, the spinoff that I do from, of course, the intro that you hear here for the last decade or so, okay. uh, me and Mo Cook over there talk about some mental health stuff for black men just conversations that we want out in the world but mo hit me up ab and he was like man i gotta be i gotta be in the building <laughs> i have to be in the building this week and i told him he had an open invitation so how could i turn him down man mo what's up what's up man what's good man uh it's good to be here y'all know it's an honor uh y'all you guys y'all don't understand what this means this is a <laughs> this is one of those legacy things for me, you know what I mean? Quietly, I ain't, I ain't capping or nothing, you know what I'm saying? So it's a big deal. It was a big deal having y'all on for both episodes that we had y'all on for um, another week in the books. Um, and man, know yourself, know your worth, nigga. My actions being louder than my words, nigga. I know that's right. We appreciate you coming, even though, you know, we had to wait on Mo came in like a celebrity, man. He had me and AB waiting for it. That boy did his celebrity. He already yeah. in his bag. Roll popping out there, man. The series, y'all go check that out. Like, man, I'm gonna make these niggas wait. Nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> Crazy, hey, man. man, I appreciate you just being on board, though, man. It's gonna be a good one, guys. We got a hot topic list today. Charlemagne says, Fill in the blank is the most influential artist of the last decade. We're gonna talk about that. Um, mm -hmm. There's also a current rapper who says, Man, we're paying way too much attention to this rap beef when there's more real shit going on. We're gonna discuss mm. whether this person is. Uh, bringing the no fun league into hip hop or if they have a point or not. And then rock nation has a new documentary they're producing. We're going to talk about what that's about, but first things first, before we get to the hottest topic in the world, we get, we'd be remiss if we didn't show some respect, rest in peace to Rico Wade from organized noise, dungeon family, legendary producer, um, rest in peace, Mr. C as well. Uh, legendary New York DJ, so first and foremost, much respect to those two. Uh, two random L's during the week, though. And when nobody, yeah, this was is. super random. Um, so they had shows booked and everything. Yeah, man. like that's crazy, bro. Like so, that was kind of that was kind of wild, man. So do your homework on those two, man. If you're not familiar, uh, yeah, get shout out to Rico Wade, especially, man. I got to run into him a couple of times since we've been down here in the A. Yep. A. B. Really cool dude. Like wasn't no Hollywood type shit at all. Uh, that's him talking on the beginning of that Killer Mike. The, the Michael album, the last one that came out, talking about stand down and, you know, it's a journey. And we talked about that ironically on Another Week in the Books a couple of weeks ago. So that's where we got the motivation for that episode. Shout out to Rico Wade and the Dungeon family and Organized Noise. Remember, we went to see Combat Jack and he was uh he was the one that was uh the, the special guest yep. when we went to go see Combat Jack live. So salute. Uh, all right, let's get to it, guys. Saturday. The Hiroshima bomb of all bombs dropped. We've been waiting. People have been waiting. They debated whether Drake was going to respond or not. Are we going to get it today, tomorrow, next month, next year? It finally happened. Uh, the joint is called Push Ups, I believe. That's the final name. Who knows? Maybe drop and give me 50, whatever. My question is simple. Two questions, though. Lou, I'm starting with you. The rollout. At first, it was leaked with a version that was a little bit rough. It wasn't mixed. The beat was a little different. Then the final CDQ version came out a little bit later in the day after speculation. People thought it may have been AI at first. Did the rollout, what did you think about the rollout? Was it fumbled or did it add to the just the events of the day? And two, what did the Drake diss do for you? Was it a worthy response to the Kendrick verse? The rollout was interesting to say the least. And I say that to say we're now in a generation where we have to question everything. Welcome to the AI world. It's scary. Yeah. It's 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 interesting again to say that word. It's it's 
it, it's one of those things where you're like, I'm not sure if I can just enjoy stuff because I don't know if it's real. Pictures, TV shows, like voiceovers, deep fakes, all of that shit. And you're like, okay, I don't want to get excited about this because this may not even be a real disc. Yeah. But one of the things in listening to it that I figured like this can't be AI is the pen game. Like there's like AI can do certain stuff, but it can't get that. It can't give you those intricate details like that we had in this disc as as we gonna get to breaking it down here later. So yeah, it was very interesting in the aspect of people had the question, was this real or not? I think it was a, a curious play by Drake to kind of float it out here and let people think it versus standing on business and being like 2 p.m. whether I drop it with act or whether it's on uh, DSPs or it's a YouTube link. This is me. I tweeted it from my official page. Yeah. This is what I want y'all to listen to. This is the league. I found it interesting that he did not do that. And yeah. I do think that that kind of takes a little bit away from it. Not a lot. I don't want to yeah, be a right. hater here because I know him. I'm here with two Drake stands. I see Mo's background already. I know what type of time he on. Uh, we, we, I see it. Uh, but it didn't take a lot away from it, but it did take a little bit away from it because the back and forth, even in the group chat, AB, M Extra, of course, the first to oh, this is AI. This is AI. He got to be the Mr. Know-it-all in, in the group chat <laughs> thinking that it was AI. But we did come to find out that this was real when Act premiered it at 2 p.m. on his live stream. To the disc. Great job by Drake. Great job by Drake. It didn't, it didn't sound like he was too pressed. I addressed every nigga that needed to be addressed. I gave you, like Hove say back in the day, all you niggas get is half a bar for the niggas that just needed half a bar. <laughs> and and he was in his bag. I was impressed by this. I'm not a Drake stand like you guys are, so I'm I'm neutral in this fight. I appreciate it. I thought it was a substantial response to everything that has been going on. This is how you respond to this as a big dog nigga like Drake. This is what I want to do to say, I'll let y'all know where I'm coming from. Yeah, I want to throw nukes now, let y'all know that I'm ready. I got shit in the tuck, especially with the little, I think the line that went over most people's head was the Whitney and the Barbie, the bodyguard line. Yeah. People really didn't understand what he the type of time that he was on with that, but that is Kendrick's wife name. Mm -hmm. and there are rumors about that. Mm -hmm. that's a that's a that's a slippery slope to start taking because we know what happened to drake last time he mentioned mm -hmm. a nigga wife for sure so i just i just want to throw that out there however i do think the, the the response was substantial he did his job as drake i'm on offense more so than defense nigga i ain't really got to come at y'all i ain't gotta, i don't have to drop the nuclear bomb if i'm drake i just got to show y'all niggas that i'm aware that y'all coming at the king Kendrick now, on the other hand, has to drop the nuclear bomb and the ball is in his court. I, I was going to get to that. Mo, what would you think about, A, the rollout and B, the record? Me and my sister, my family came in town. Me and my sister, big, big, big Drake fans. I mean, we we did a whole bracket, but that's a whole nother story uh, for something else. Um, but That background is disgusting, by the way. Nah, you didn't know it was the same. Yeah, after this drop, nothing was the same, boy. You heard? Oh, my huh? God. Oh, huh? my God. What is geez. this, 20v1? What nigga? have I gotten myself into? It's a prince to a king. It's a oh, son, nigga. My God, nigga. Make some drums, nigga. All right. So, anyway. <laughs> you got it memorized? <laughs> I mean, come on. Bro. What are you talking about, dog? Yes. I got the lyrics pulled up. Nah, I mean, <sighs> this is, but no, um, the rollout, it was like we kept waiting. Same thing. Um, Spike being the hip hop enthusiast uh, as he is, he, clue me in because he know I'd be in my own world. I'd never even know. So he putting it in, maybe it's AI and we say, okay, we're getting officials in real time. The way I took the rollout at first, I didn't like it, but I said, you know what? I'm treating this differently. This is not, this is not back to back where I'm going to create some hit record and I'm going to make money off this because I, this is how I look at the beef. This is not a, I'm going to throw it on YouTube, bro. I'm treating this like this is a nigga in the street. I'm giving out a cassette. It, it starts to pick up. Now all these YouTubers start piecing it together, putting it, I'm letting it catch its own wave. I'm letting y'all know for one, I ain't really tripping for two, bro. This is light work for me. And mm -hmm. three, the intentionality that it comes off to me is like, if you think it's real or you don't think it's real, regardless, I said what I said in it, you could take it or don't take it. But if you heard what I said and it, and it hit, it hit. So I, I like, I, I wasn't, I, I would have liked an official, but I think when I sat with it a little bit, I said, okay, I think I like how we kind of grew its own legs and let everybody get involved with it and do what it do. Like, I don't have to do anything. You, you yep. can think or you don't have to think. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. As far as the execution goes, um, yeah, man, what do we, I mean, like, again, 20 V1. 
Like all y'all, all y'all want, all y'all want a piece of this. I want to say this, and I, I, that's why I wanted to come here. And this is to you, Spike, and this is all y'all. I don't want to hear no more about Drake is pop. I don't want to hear it no more, bro. He, no, he's rap. He, all these niggas making jokes and doing these little subs and talking about his nose. No, Drake is a rapper. Who are you niggas? Y'all ain't, y'all ain't rapping. Y'all sitting back, y'all got his poster on the wall, like he said, coming up with schemes and plots and these niggas mm. clicking up. He told y'all with 21, niggas clicking up. He's yep. rapping. What He putting it all on the line. I am a pop star. He I'm a pop star. Run. Yes. But look, he I'm, but no, no, no. But listen, I can, I'm putting it all on the line. I got a lot more to lose than all y'all and I'm still doing it. So yeah. I don't want to hear no more about anybody talk about, oh, he's pop. He's a rapper that can that makes pop music and makes R&B mm. music. I'm a rapper, bro. I did what none of you niggas was willing to do. J. Cole, the guy <laughs> y'all says is the, we all deemed him. All of us was believers and we was all villains or whatever he calls us. And he stepped down and bowed out gracefully. Man, watch how, I don't care what Cole said. Nigga, I don't care what nigga dumbass on the, on the Raw bar is he dumbass nigga. I like, like bro, that little. I like yeah. that little jab at the yeah, end. Yeah, I did. Cole. Like, I love yeah. it. I love it. Like, nigga, yeah. you, you get the fuck yeah. out the ring. Nigga. Yeah, I watch out, that. bro. Watch out. Like, let's yeah. get this out the way. So, let me get out the way. But yeah, I, I think that execution was great. Rollout, it, it, it's whatever it is, but execution was there. Yeah, the rollout was non-traditional. If this was six, seven years ago, we would have woke up, and it would have been a SoundCloud link from OVO Sound that would have dropped at three a.m. and we would have all opened Twitter like, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> and it, yeah, and it would have happened that way. This way, it did kind of make give it a, a life of its own, because we we were it was a good hour in the chat. Like, nigga, is this real? Is it not? Did what he did he say this? Y'all think he niggas was like, going back and forth with each other? Jabbing right, niggas, each other. <laughs> you stupid. You believe that's real? Yes, yeah, exactly. So multiply that times a million, because trust me, we weren't the only ones doing that. The whole rap game was doing it on a Saturday. Niggas, niggas probably cutting grass. Nigga holding the phone, trying to see what, <laughs> trying to get to the shit. So it created a moment in itself, whether that was on purpose or on accident, whatever the case may be. I know there's some purists out there. Just give me the CDQ version. They want, like, you know what I'm saying? Make it official. Let's quit the guessing game shit. But this is the world we live in, bro. If we see a tweet right now that says, damn, RIP, fill in the blank, we got to get three sources, nigga, to believe that's even real. So, like, this is where we at. Ten years ago, we wouldn't have had to go through this. We would ask, did TMZ say it? Exactly. TMZ? <laughs> like it, we so people kind of stop acting like why are y'all asking about AI, nigga? Have where have you been at the last three, four, five years, nigga? You got to validate this shit now, dude. With that being said, and I and we said this in the chat, I said, yo, if this is AI, hey, niggas, oh. you can go ahead and stop rap if you if you're trying to rap, you can cancel it. If this is AI, you can cancel it. Cause I'm like, wait a minute now, I didn't like the beat. I'm gonna be real, I didn't like the original production on it though. The 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 leak version, the beat was kind of like, eh, but I like what he was sound like. Damn, this nigga slick spitting though. He's saying some shit. They came with the newer version. I like that. I like the little beat switch at the end too. I'm hot about that. That shit was hard. The joint is tough. And I will say, I can't think of anyone else who has done this, at least of note, who has went directly at Kendrick like this. I don't recall. Someone have to remind me. Kendrick's been the bit bad wolf of the West Coast this whole time. Nobody wants to see him. Nobody wants game. to see Rap game. Not the just Big West Bad Coast, Wolf of the rap, rap game. game. Drake stuck his neck out. Now, he might get obliterated. Kendrick might have dropped some shit Wednesday that might blow him off the map. I'm not saying he'll disappear. I'm saying that might wash what we just heard. Mm -hmm. It's possible because Kendrick is that nice. Like, we're not going to act like that nigga can't go. But I'm saying the fact of the matter is that he... Drake won barn this shit and he dropped it on the Saturday. He waited to hear what that future in Metro. He waited to hear who was on that. Let me hear what they got on that. Oh, okay, Rocky, I don't really care. Okay, yeah, fuck all that. I already got something for weekend on here. Nigga, hit the hit the button. Drop my shit. I got more coming. Metro, I'm calling you out by name. I'm flagrant with the shit. But I, I, I fuck with it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Now, I, I am a Drake drums, fan. bitch ass nigga. Man, that, that shit was funny, bro. Man. But a nigga that's told, the most quotable line from the store. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, from the whole shit. But 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 you said it last week too, because we talked about what is J. Cole, what angle can you take? Because Kendrick is relatively low key. He doesn't come outside, his life is private, he ain't really got a lot of dirt on his resume. Like it's it's quiet. You have to go funny. So when a nigga says, bro, how you a big stepper with a size seven men's on? That that's yep. funny. That's bro, funny. that's funny, dude. That's, that's funny. the smallest size in a men's shoe, <laughs> bro. Like, bro, what you doing? That's and funny. You leaned into you said big step. You said you was a big step. What, what with a seven? I don't, bro. 
then that's then perfect. The drop, the drop, and give me fifty. That's what made me think if this is AI, it's perfect. over with. That the drop and that's give me true. fifty was bro. That was allegedly a play on. He has to give up half his shit whenever he put music out because topping them on half. So and yeah. then to parallel with the jokes of him doing push ups on. So oh, like bro, if AI came up with that, bro, like if, bro. bro. That's what I say. Like, if, like, yeah, if AI coming up with this, it's, it's you out of there. We out of there. We out of there. You know, we might as well just listen to AI rap. I do <laughs> tell you the great thing to the AI point, and it goes to Drake being outside versus Kendrick not being outside. What attributes to this rollout as being good is now when you, and I was talking about this with Dan in the text, there can be a thousand AI disses that we, ne- we don't know what's real and what's not now. So now the shit that sound like Drake that they was doing AI for, yeah. oh, it can be a hundred AIs with Kendrick jokes and all of this shit. Now Kendrick got to cipher through all the That's bullshit true. and be like, oh, is this Drake or is this AI? Yeah. And that was a great thing by him not coming out and really just saying, as to what I just said, I know I said he should have stood on it. But the other side of that is, oh yeah, I'm going to use technology to my advantage. Now all these niggas is good with AI. All these people that have been using AI, y'all do y'all Kendrick disses too. And put them out there and act like it's me too. Now this nigga <laughs> got to deal with other people joking on him, not just me. Mm-hmm. Now at night, now everybody talking about you, not just me, because they want a part of the fame. I think that was, that's a brilliant part of it, and that's part of Drake being outside in, of the new generation versus Kendrick. And, yeah, of course, man. all of that is cool until Kendrick dropped the nuclear bomb on his ass. It, so. it, how much time does Mo, Mo, how much time Kendrick got before yeah. you like, Really, my nigga. Like, I, I say, I, I'd say two weeks tops. Mm, do you think that's weeks, gonna happen in two weeks though? That's not true. Nah, that's not gonna happen. It, it's it's got to be less. I I think less than would it, be he like he got to the end of the month. Actually, he got to the next holiday. That's why. Nah, I think I think two Memorial weeks. Memorial Day in May. B- because I think Drake Drake did two weeks kind of right after like that. He did. Right? That's two weeks. So and I think that um, he got about two weeks. I think that's a fair assessment. If it take you longer than two, he told you, man, go and put that old diss out you made yeah. four years ago. Allegedly, like Drake told one. you, and Drake mm. told you, like, bro, at low key, I got more info, but this is a, this is a refurbished, a, re, a remixed version of my charged up. And I do want to say this on the sidebar for all you people out there that want to, we love Pusha T and all that, but he said niggas oh, got dude, hot because they told, stop, they got stop, hot because they told on me. Let's keep it a bean. Mm, like yeah. he won the beef, no doubt. He slaughtered it. He said, even Drake said, yo, the the play on it that was. That, was, that was genius. Yeah, that was. But cold. when you think about, bro, you used the Jay Z beat, and then you just you exposed me and told, oh, he has a kid. Is I that blamed you? No, no. I what what you. what else can we quote? I exposed you, nigga. <laughs> Nothing. Your dad. Your dad. And you don't older like than the you. nigga you running behind. Your dad. No, 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 no. Stop it. Your dad don't like you. Your mom's a loser. Is like that a direct all of these, quote? Like, yeah, nigga, you fucked the porn star and got her pregnant. Like, all of that, no, all no. of that is in story of Adam. I don't do that. Y'all nah, don't that, let that, y'all come up here and do that. No. No, he, he got, got it off. I'm just saying he had the black. He got him with the black face. The the strategy was there, but when we get away from the the shock factor of it, and we look at what it really is, you got the black face off, and you got the shock exposure of, part it. of it. Though, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm That's not true. taking. It. I'm just talking about the diss itself. Right. The diss itself is like okay, you got it off. So I just want to say that to say that when we get to this and where this where this plays out, I would be very interested. I think he went back to the Whitney. Uh, uh, because he again, he's like when the nigga got him off on oh, this nigga told I got a child. All right, he got me. That's scary. This nigga yeah. got me. All right, but now I'm telling you, I'm going back there, and I don't care That's what scary. it is, nigga. You ain't you real. Scary. He better yeah. have some real shit to tuck, man. You start talking about a nigga white people, but, but you, those. But he, it wasn't disrespectful know. though. Let's be clear, it wasn't disrespectful. But no, dude. I mean there was a okay. I want to ask this before I say it. There was a backstory to him saying with with the bodyguard shit. But see, I've never heard you that until that? now, though, bro. Like. Have you ever have you, have you heard news. that up until That's now? That's what you're bro? doing, beef though. That's breaking news. But it, like, he may have just I, been I talking heard. shit though, bro. That's what I'm may saying. Have. That's the great thing about beef and the brilliance it is. <laughs> I heard your wife, Whitney, was out here with the bodyguard, and like I don't I don't know the status of that or if it's even true, but it's a thing that people are talking about now because I said it. That was good. That was really good. So now you got to worry about. Uh, I'm taking this personal. Versus, I had this shit four years ago, and I know it's some killer lines, and now I'm going to update this shit with the personal shit that I know if I'm Kendrick Lamar. That's what you have to worry about. You think we and, get a response from him? Because Kendrick is notorious for taking his time with music, obviously. Can't do it. Can't do it. And I think, mm-hmm. as a Kendrick fan, people know, listen to the show, like, this is the first time he's been on the clock. 
This is probably the most important verse of his career. Well, fuck I'll all wait of that. Time out. Nah, time bro, out. bro, fuck all of that nah, political you might, pride you might, shit. You might, you might, you might be hey, right, Hey, bro, though. fuck all of that, my nigga, because you've been talking all of this. And again, I'm a Kendrick fan. Yeah, I'm, right, I'm, right. I'm riding. So all of that other shit that you've been talking, I'm the boogeyman and yeah, the y'all shit making you excuses out of control. Because y'all yeah, don't want like, to see me This lit. is the verse. Yeah. This is the verse that you need to come out and be like, nah, nigga, I got ether. I've been telling y'all niggas I got ether. Y'all tried to act like y'all didn't know it. You played with me and put the diss out and you didn't even really go all the way in. You mm-hmm. did a good job, but mm-hmm. you ain't kill me. You ain't mm-hmm. take my head off. Now I'm gonna come and I'm gonna take your head off. Was, was this a setup? Was, was did Drake set him up though? Does he got something else behind this? Yes. Hopefully so. If you yep. th- if you think Drake is strategic as he is, I would he think is. so. Yeah. That's why he, he got some to more it. shit. That's why I, I do think he it. got some more shit though. Mm-hmm. And that's why Kendrick Kendrick got to have a cold one too. It can't just be oh I'm gonna drop ether and and duck off into doing my push ups and shit on Instagram mm-hmm. in Bali or whatever. Like I I need to drop ether and then I'm coming to kill this nigga again. Oh no, that ain't gonna happen. We've never Both seen of them that, niggas bro. gotta have that in mind though. But we've never if seen. If I was Drake, if I was no. Drake, I gotta hit this nigga with the back to back. If now I Drake from needs you in another four one. days, yeah. If I ain't heard from you in four days, nigga, I'm coming just like I did with Meek, nigga. Where is y'all at? Y'all been nah, asking. I, I, for this I'm not shit doing that. Nah, years, I ain't gonna. I wouldn't do that. Not with Kendrick I because because the because the optics of it. You think about how like that looked because of the J Cole step down. Like that now grew another wave of power, and it really wasn't. It was it like that wasn't like that. But now it looked like Stop that. It. it was. It was no, like that, though. No, no, no. no, no. Do, like that is a good that. song. No, it's it's a good do song. That. Hold on, hold on. Do that, though. Hold on, listen. Here's why I'm saying that. Because you I'm, you think I'm coming in biased, but listen to what I'm saying. The reason I'm saying it's not like that is because, uh, it, like, the earlier part of the verse that uh, Drake spit, he's like, man, like, you get to come out out of... You get to come out of the blue and anything you drop, you're going to get these here, hip-hop periods like, oh, this is the great... But when you go back there, you got I'm at that me. Nigga. But it wasn't like... I just people just I, it, it's just this thing it, it was do with it Kendrick was that, Ken, Kendrick you know. can do Kendrick can do way yeah. harder pause he can go way this harder than for that future, let's be clear this was just, that's for future and a number one song for the summer yeah for sure it, this it's ain't a, this a, ain't me bop, going though. in on you this is me letting you niggas know I hear you and I disagree and and I do not fuck with you I don't fuck with Cole. I don't fuck with Drake. I don't fuck with neither one of y'all niggas. At Big Three shit, y'all take that shit somewhere else. That's all it was. And being that it wasn't a direct shot necessarily, that's what makes it more impactful. Oh, no, it was that's direct. Yes, it was. Nah, nah, it was. Not a direct in the sense of like what Drake did. Oh, well, no, nah, right? no. Nah, yeah, you're right. I'm Drake leveled like, it up. He leveled Kendrick it up. Kendrick was just like, okay, I'm, 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 I'm walking out to the ring now. Yeah. And if y'all niggas want to join me, y'all come join me. And clearly, Cole was like, "I ain't, I don't want them. They shoot Do you look outside. at Cole differently now? Did, did that Absolutely. still hit those same as it yes. did last week? Yes, you ain't about this. No, nah, no, it don't. That's cap, do, bro. bro. You no, ain't it... about this life. Oh, hold on, you ain't I, about me, this life. Bro. Hold on, let me see. What, what do you mean, AB? Hold on, I, I I'm saying this. people were killing Cole when he said, "You know what? I'm, a, I'm a back out of this. I only want this energy. I'm, you know, what I'm saying I really actually fuck with this nigga. He didn't really say that much about me. Stop. I'm out." People are saying now, oh, I see why Cole backing out because niggas name dropping wives. They finna, who knows what the fuck Kendrick finna do? That's what we do. Everybody don't want to be a part of that though. <laughs> Everybody don't want to be in that. So you some people like, I see why he got out. beef, nigga. Like, come on, Cole. Like, nigga, I fucked your bitch, nigga. That's <laughs> that's rap beef, nigga. That's what we do. Everybody don't want to be a part of that, bro. That's all I'm saying. Um, Cole, should, as a man, as a man, we as a man, we respect it. And we we spoke a little bit at, at length on that, our yes, previous episode. But as a rapper, it 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 this by far it, it it really hurts your career to me because it's like you come off now at this very moment, you not who you said you was. And people pulling receipts, like every beef he had, he apologized in some kind of capacity. Even let, you know, Lil Pump that, uh, you know, the 1985 yeah, or whatever, you look at it, it's like, hey, I love to see a black man get paid, but if you messing with my name, you, re-. all right, bro. Like, so it's like, for me with Cole, when you come to, come to that, it's like, now you're not really who you said you were. You were saying that the, the gods and the heavens and the lightning and the roars and the and everybody that was like, man, I, you was so like, I wish a nigga would. Like that nigga in the classroom that's mad loud, like, bro, I just touch me, touch me. You were that guy and got and got two, touched. Good point. <laughs> and no, and, and two, nothing happened. It ain't like you was Jordan Lucas. It ain't like you was just a nigga out here that could rap. Mm-hmm. That just put shit together cool. Like you acted like you knew the mm-hmm. history and the background. You the nigga that came out and apologized to Nas. 
You the nigga that brought Kanye to the door when you thought he was doing shit wrong. You the nigga that told Wale, are you doing this shit wrong? You yeah. acted like you was of this ilk. So if you acting like you of this ilk, nigga, like you gotta, when it's time to perform, you gotta perform. You can't yeah. be like, oh, I got my chin out, nigga. Like, nah, bro, that ain't what, I don't even know what that is. This That's man pickleball. Said, we playing tennis, nigga. You playing pickle pickleball. Balls. Like, I don't even know what the fuck that is. That's a pause. That's so, yeah. <laughs> pickleball. G-O-M-D. <laughs> G-O-M-D, he said, I'm the best. When I'm in the West, I'm the, nigga, when I'm, come on, bro. I'm the best in the West. Like, that was your Kendrick this right there. And on 2014 Forest Hill Drive. Nigga, I'm the bet. Like, all right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you can't you can't come to me and be like, oh, y'all niggas talking about wives. So I'm like, no, nah, I, I, I stand. I respect it. you trying to keep your peace, nigga. That's cool, but you shouldn't. Have, you went down this like, okay. I think he didn't expect is, that. He just didn't expect bruh, it. Responding to the diss wasn't the moment that you decided to go down this path. You decided to go down this path two to three years ago when you started telling niggas on features and you started telling niggas that you was the best nigga rapping. Yeah. That's when you decided to do this. Don't act like, oh, now they beefing. I don't want nothing to do with this. I ain't got nothing to do with this. Like, I don't want it. Like, nah, bro, you said a couple years ago, I'm in this game. I'm in competition for number one. And then just bowed out. So I don't want to make this too much about Cole. Yeah, yeah, Shout yeah, out yeah. to Drake for putting it like, like Drake and Kendrick keeping hip hop alive. I love the response. I love the energy outside. And I'll tell you this. And I'm, I'm really, really upset as we go into the second topic. I'll lead it into y'all. One of the main thing, my biggest takeaway was, y'all gonna laugh at this. He shouldn't have said nothing about Ross. He shouldn't have. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell y'all why, and then I'll throw the question over to y'all. Ross, no, he can't compete with Drake lyrically. I know that. He's not as big a star. However, he an old nigga, as Drake alluded to, and old niggas got time. I can go all day with these fucking IG jokes I can drop a disc in two hours. I can continue just to be a thorn in your side when you need to be worrying about Kendrick Lamar. And now you got to worry about me being funny, me joking, me calling you white boy. I said that when I listened to this, I said that was a mistake. Not in the sense of, oh, head to head, Drake going to get took out by Rick Ross, but in the sense of he going to be this little annoying ass side thing that I got to continuously deal with while I'm trying to deal with a big dog. And that's going to distract Drake. And that's exactly mm. what I thought when I heard him diss Ross. I said, oh, that's going to be a problem. And I said that in the chat. I ain't said, I ain't reiterated enough like I wanted to, but my question to y'all is this, going into the second part of it. Ross put a diss out. He responded to Drake's line about him in the push-up joint. A B. Letter grade for Ross is this. She called champagne moments. I say the beat was an A for sure. I thought the production was tough. Ross sounded okay on that though. I I you know, for if especially for a short turnaround. I the whole first verse wasn't about nothing, but he, no. he did what he was supposed to do, I guess. I I give him a B minus. I wasn't mad at it. Um, it doesn't have the replay value of Drake's joints. It, it, you know what I mean? It doesn't really have the shock value of other things. But it was entertaining enough on that on that initial listen, though. Now it won't get many spins ran back, but it was entertaining enough, and it wasn't to where I was like, mm, "This shit whack." It wasn't that. So I give it to him. He's more entertaining. The stuff he was talking on there was funnier than some of the bars. And but because white boy, it mainly white boy was hilarious. Oh, that's funny. That's funny Jesus right there. But Christ. but. Some of the stuff though, you can't say, you you can't say like you body shaming and you and I, I'm I'm team husky, but like you can't talk about another nigga. And you like you can't do that, or you can't say he has the same. Oh, wait, what? Said, you can't said, do what? You can't do what? Be specific. What do you mean? Yeah, he when he was talking about the uh the six pack surgery and all this shit, bro. Like, you say have you he heard Ross breathe? He have y'all heard Ross breathe just when he on IG and shit? Have you <laughs> heard that? That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm a husky nigga, too. Like, you got to do something about that. Like, you can't. It's hard to do. It's hard to get that off. He said Drake had one flow. He sounded the same on every song. I was like, huh? That doesn't make sense. If any nigga sounds the same on every song, it's right. And I fuck with Ross. But, like, that didn't. we do. It didn't make sense. I was like, I was like, that don't really make sense. But, again, it sounded good. And the shit at the end was funny. And we all know his persona outside of the booth. I think it's a reach for him to jump in this anyway, but that's another story. I'm going to allude to it just a second. I want Mo's opinion on the joint, though. I ain't listened to the joint because... That's crazy. 
I could never be nobody's number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Man, move out the way, bro. <laughs> Nigga, you're not in the GOAT conversation. If this, You're not in the GOAT conversation, bro. Watch out. If, 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 if I tell you this, if Drake cooks Kendrick, he, you got, we, I ain't going to even go there. Anyway, so, yeah, I, I ain't really listened to it. I mean, the white boy stuff for me, it's cool, but it just sounds like this, like, middle school diss where it's a bully in your class that don't got no material, and this is like, white boy. But it's like, so, I'm biracial. So what? So? Yeah, but it's, but kind, it's kind of funny, though. though. The way yeah, he said he it in the song. playing around with me, and that's, and, and, yeah. and Mo, I get what you're he saying. He used it like, years ago with you're... Eminem and, and G-Unit, so it's like, all right, get artist, some new material, bro. bro. You're an artist. You're thinking about rap. Like the normal everyday people ain't got time to listen to these tracks. They just seeing Rick Ross making fun of nose jobs. They seeing Rick Ross say you had a BBL. That's they seeing funny. Rick Ross tell your homeboy to clean the bottom of his yacht. Like, bro, this is funny. And it may not register in this in the sense of hip hop. However, where we are today, when we were just talking about AI, you don't want this shit happening. When you in like it's wartime. Like we all the gloves are off, nigga. It's wartime. And I don't need a nigga like Rick Ross sneaking up behind me or on the side and I got to send troops out to fight him. Like, that just need to be squashed. And Ross is going to revel in this. Like, he's going to make this as much as he can. Like, what yeah. else is he doing? Like Drake said, this nigga performing, <laughs> nigga performing at birthday parties or whatever <laughs> Drake said, bro. Like, he said at proms. It prompts. And it's, it's it's great that Drake has a, a sense of humor. Rock has, Ross has a sense of humor, so they're going to be able to go back and forth. However, I do think it's going to be distracting. And, and Ross, Ross is going to be a nigga to distract him. My advice, if I was a nigga that was around Drake, just like them niggas teaming up like the Avengers, I'm calling 50. I'm I'm, I'm giving 50 a blank check. Like, Where's Lil Wayne hey, at? I'm calling Mac. No, no, no. I don't even need Wayne yet. I, I use Wayne later, but oh, right I see what now, you're saying. Oh, I right see. now, I'm getting 50 to be funny with this nigga. Like, okay, you want to play? I'm going to find you somebody to play with because I ain't mm -hmm. got time. However, this nigga was just at my... Well, he was at uh, J. Cole shit, but he he reaching out to whatever to Drake. I, I would team up with 50 and like, you and Rick Ross, y'all do y'all thing again because I ain't got time to play with it. Y'all mm -hmm. take the distraction off that pause. Play with it, but... Got me out here talking yeah, like I'm 50. Yeah, like I, I'm not even doing any of that shit if I'm Drake as far as going back and forth with Rick Ross. But the sad thing about it is Ross is not going to let this go. He going to milk this, bro. We've been talking about Ross business acumen for the last two years, A.B. Like, this is engagements. This is companies Back. seeing his names in the shit with Drake. Like, this is him getting extra deals. He a boss. He knows this. And he has the leverage to be able to talk to Drake. Like, ain't too many niggas that can talk to Drake like he talked to Drake. He ain't got to have more hits. He ain't got to have more money. Drake has always looked at him like that when we heard them on the songs together. And he's referring to him as the biggest boss. So now when I'm, I'm referring to you as a little nigga and, oh, you was glad to be around us, nigga, that shit registers with a, a certain group of people who already don't want Drake to win this anyway. And that's what I mean by it's a distraction. If I'm Drake, I don't need to deal with this. So I'm getting a 50 cent. I'm getting a Cameron. I'm getting anybody that I think is cool. And I'm letting you know, I, I, I got a check for you niggas. I know you niggas ain't getting checks like that now. I got a check for you niggas. Specifically, what you doing is distracting Rick Ross from coming at me. His, That's what he, I would do. He gonna call the baby mama up next because she already on his neck. I get that. Yeah, exactly. T I'm, I'm calling been her on his neck for the last I'm couple getting months. Getting Tia out to the next show. You getting a big, you getting a big rose package invite to whatever show I got coming. Matter of fact, come up to the compound up in Canada. Let's film but this already, shit. But Fifty already did that. Fifty though. already did that. 50 exactly. already did that. That's yeah. why I say Ross is a distraction because you got to think of something to do to deal with this nigga so he'll shut up. <laughs> This nigga going to keep putting BBL and nose picture photos. And I know, Mo, what you mean when you say, okay, they ain't got nothing to do with rapping, but there is a segment of people who Ross is trying to appease that this is working for. Yeah. They hate Drake anyway. Yeah. Now, it's, it's, I, I will say this. I, I'm still, I didn't, I didn't buy his explanation as to why he's jumping in this. I thought that was, I ain't really like that. That was, Bruh, that, that's, he that see the so opportunity weird. here, as yeah, does everybody it. else. He yeah. sees the opportunity here. Oh, you mentioned me. Everybody's talking about this. No, but he said he mentioned him board. on the what's name though. He on the future. He he was on the future shit from two weeks ago. Ross was on that. Hmm. When he on that motherfucker? Yeah. Oh, am I tripping? Am I tripping? I'm I'm gonna look it up. But he Ross has said something up until this point. That's why he got mentioned to begin with though. I thought it was because he's gonna follow me. 
I thought that's what the whole time. Oh, was. okay, okay. You're right. You're right. You're I, right, thought right, it, right. It, I thought it was because he right. unfollowed him. He and unfollowed he was listening him to the song and then too. he posted himself yeah. listening to the song, same right. reason why Travis got smoked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just right. to mention, Travis got smoked, John ja Morant got smoked, Ross got smoked, Future, of course. Weekend. Weekend, J. Yeah. Cole, Kendrick. Now. So seven niggas. Now. Now in there too. I ain't even. I missed the nav. Some Tor- it's that Toronto. Them Toronto lines was about nav Got and weekend. Got you. Okay. Yo. Yeah. John uh, Morant was crazy too. That's nuts. Next up, man. We still talking beef. Pauls. Simba jumped in early last week. Gave a response to Cole. We kind of figured somebody was probably going to say something. Yeah. We people weren't going to let the apology slide. It was too big of a deal. Cole ends up removing seven minute drill from streaming sites like he said he would. Cole's artist. Kaz responded to Simba. So we had a little little undercard battle during the week before this Drake came through. Mo, I'm going to start with you. What do you think about Simba or anybody jumping in, period, and kind of roasting Cole for how he played the situation? Yeah, I mean, my Simba, man, um, we, I know uh, the sentiment you've echoed about him being like one of the nicest new ones that, you know, keeping hope alive for us, you know. Um, I like the idea there's an opportunity here. First and foremost, like there's an opportunity here. I still ain't quite made that that curl over, you know, I mean, that Luther curl, so to speak. So I, I, this is an opportunity for one, for two. Um, I'm I'm genuinely let down, bro. Like I was looking at you, like as Simba, I was looking at you. Like I, you kind of fit a space that I'm looking in. Like I relate to Cole. I connect with Cole, so to speak. You know, what I mean, you may not be saying that directly, but I imagine. It, I mean, the styles are not so far different that you can't see. Hey, I maybe been inspired by the warm up or a uh, Friday Night Lights, and so it's just like, yeah, I'm getting in here. Like, bro, what what are we doing? Where are we at right now? You know, so I, I'm not mad at it. And I mean, I, I like Kaz. I know people don't really mention Kaz a lot, but Kaz, I, I, I think they've, I think they've mis, mishandled his whole thing over in Dreamville, bro. But yeah. uh, I'm not mad at it. I like it. Lou, what do you think about the the, the undercards? Um, I think he did this wrong, man. And in the sense of he, he rapped on the wrong beat. If you really want to make a splash. And I know how cold Simba is just from you telling us and going and cold. listening to him. He did the NFL shit throughout the season, rapping about the, the shit each week. Like Simba is Simba is a really, really, really good rapper. For sure. Um, I don't know if he got the right marketing or the right PR team to tell him the right steps to take to be to ascend to that next level. And I feel like that's what this was an attempt at. I wanna there's a spot open. Niggas is beefing with Cole or they upset with Cole, so I wanna take that spot. What you have to do is throw yourself all the way in the mix. You can't go halfway in. You got to rap on that like that beat, and then you just go in on everybody that's involved and let niggas know why you're the best rapper out of everybody. Similar to some shit that Lil Wayne would do back in the day when he was still niggas beating, letting niggas know, like, this is my beat now, and I'm addressing whatever it is that I have an issue with. So I do think that he took the wrong approach by calling out J. Cole, excuse me, calling out J. Cole, because that's easy. We all are doing that. You're the artist. I need you to go one depth deeper and call out Kendrick and Drake too. Like go on and put your, as J. Cole said, put your chin out there. Be willing to get hit or be willing to capitalize off. I, I'm brave enough to do this and I'm going to put my foot in the in the sand as the next big motherfucker who was willing to diss them. I'm surprised J.I.D. ain't came out and did this shit. But I do think that he was on the wrong beat, he should have took a different approach in the sense of not only am I criticizing J. Cole, but I'm going to criticize Drake and Kendrick too just because I feel like I'm that nice and I'm going to hop on the hottest beat that's out there right now and make motherfuckers understand that I'm here and I'm trying to make a statement. So it, he kind of fumbled it in the sense of if you're going to say something, say something with your chest, nigga. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big Simba fan. I think he the nicest under 30 by far. It's not even close. Um, with that being said, I didn't like this move, though. I wasn't a fan of this at all, bro. Mm. Mainly because we are here for one reason and one reason only, dude. We are here to see <laughs> Lloyd and It's like Pacquiao, everybody jumping dude. on the control. It's like everybody jumping on the control verse. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we don't, we didn't ask one. No, 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 no. And I, I think dude is stupid nice. This is going to be, I said this when it has happened. We're going to forget about this tomorrow. And that's exactly what happened. This shit got washed completely under the bridge. No one's going to talk about it from here until the end of time. It's going to be an afterthought five years from now, bro. It doesn't matter. It didn't give him points. It didn't take none away. It just was a nothing burger. And so, like, and shout out to Kaz for defending his mans, but we're not going to care about that either. 
Even though they both sounded decent, though. I'm not mad. They they both were spitting. That's fine. But, bro, I don't – you didn't gain one new fan, bro. You tried to write – he tried to take the opportunity, bro. You didn't get one new like. You didn't get one new follower. You didn't get one new fan. Like, bro, it just – that was <laughs> pointless. And I was talking with about you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like I don't like when people try to jump in and make it about them. And bro, no, we don't want to see you. We we want to see. We don't want to see you, Otis, nigga. We can't. We seen two niggas, bro. <laughs> we want to see two people. Ross, you will let you get that because your name was dropped in there. That's fine. We'll let you get that off. Don't nobody else even think about jumping in this. We don't care. <laughs> we don't want to hear it. If your name ain't Kendrick Duckworth or Aubrey Graham, nigga, stay stay out of this, dude. Please. That's it. That's all. So that was my issue. I don't like the opportunist, opportunist play, thinking that's going to get you some clout, thinking it's going to like, you didn't know the Drake's joint was coming 24 hours later, nigga. Nobody cares about yours now. <laughs> yeah, watch, the, watch that shit straight out, nigga. Bro, think of, but watch y'all think shit out. And y'all, and y'all right, but think about this, though. Like, I imagine they hearing conversations and like, who's going to take it next after the big three? Who's going to? And it's yeah. like, people are still putting out music. Like, they're, they're, they're current artists. And they, and not only current artists. Current artists have been out for like five, six, seven years. And we're mm -hmm. still like, man, who's going to be next? Like, you'd be like, as a person rapping, it's like, what are y'all talking about next? I just did a table drama. I've been putting out music. Okay, I can't get y'all attention. Bump it. Now, again, That's why I'm so is, surprised J.I.D. ain't saying that. Right. It's clout chasing. But yeah. it's like... I'm telling you, he should have did like big three discs maybe or something like. Yeah, so yeah, I'm like saying he should have included everybody and everybody and 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 Kaz not the nigga that I wanted to hear from from Dreamville. Sorry, buddy, yeah, but y'all telling down me on the pecking order. Y'all are telling me that JID is that nigga. People keep telling me that how oh, he's the one. He telling me he got disses for everybody and all that shit. He said this. I yep. still ain't heard from you, nigga. And I don't want to. Don't. I, we no, don't I want don't, to. I don't. I don't. But I could. I would have understood it more. And seeing the clip that I got from Cos and being like, man, what? Who is this nigga? What is, what is he talking about? <laughs> nigga, nigga, he wasn't even direct. He, he didn't even mention. Though. He didn't even mention his name though. No, nah, he did. Like if I'm if I'm defending my man's, like Benny Siegel defending this man's against Jada Kiss, like bro, I'm like nigga, I'm smacking the kufi off your head, nigga. What we talking about? <laughs> I ain't got to do no indirect shit, nigga. You know who I'm talking to. Stop playing with us, bro. What's up? Like, like that nigga came yeah, and did all this like extra shit. Like, bro, like you not J. Cole or Kendrick Lamar or Drake. You need to be very direct and let niggas know he like you need to come out like Pac. I fucked your bitch, nigga. <laughs> like, what's up? Like that, I don't need to hear you do all that car shit, that earth game gravel shit, nigga. <laughs> be for real, nigga. <laughs> you wild, man. All right, man. Next we got um future dropped in the midst of all of this chaos that we got over the weekend future and metro dropped their second project uh that they did together we still don't trust you ab i'll start with you this time what do you think about the new future and metro project we still don't trust you yeah this was the more melodic uh vibe whereas the other one was more you know the trap shit he did this a couple of years ago with the future and then the Hendrix. He dropped those in back to back weeks. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was not looking forward to this because just generally speaking, I'm not asking for melodic future. I know he can do it. And I know he's got hits with that particular style, but man, I've been listening to this ever since that shit came out and that shit is sliding. Like I can't even, I, I like this better than the other one. That motherfucker bang. Every time I listen to it, it's a new favorite song. That's like I, I, I was shocked at how much I enjoyed this project and how much I've been listening to it since. You can tell Metro has been in the gym. These last, this last year and a half has told me if nobody has been in locked in the studio, nigga, Metro Boomin has. He took that shit. Hit boy said drums, to heart. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga been working them drums, nigga, just like Drake told him, and it's been paying off. Don't let that get to you, Metro. That shit was funny, but don't let that get to you, fam, because that nigga been cooking. I remember last year, Hit Boy called all them niggas out. Yeah. Hey man, I'm I can do it all, nigga. Like, can you do some other than 808, please? Can you chop up soul? Can you do some mid tempo? Can you do some some fast tempo? Can you do anything other than some goddamn 808 booms, dude? I can do that shit. Metro took that shit to heart. He is cooking on here. He got the samples on here, nigga. The Isley Brothers shit. Weekend That's on like fine. three or four songs. He bodied every feature, nigga. Even the random ass cold feature that didn't nobody see coming was dope. Even the mixtape joints at the end, it's like five or six mixtape joints. All oh, those slap. Lil Baby finally had a good verse. It's been, <laughs> it seems like forever. He killed it. ASAP Rocky, for some reason, jumped in and threw, 
the the Royal Rumble WrestleMania shit is getting a little too uh, twenty niggas versus one is getting a little too out of hand. Mm-hmm. But that song was dope. This shit is flames, bro. Like I can't even. I ain't gonna hold this shit banging, bro. It's got a whole vibe. I'm fucking with this. This is one of my favorite albums this year so far. Easy. Mo, what did you think about this? Man, bro, the production was wow. Like, oh. I mean, just coming in with that first joint, like on some like 80s synth, like, yeah. And then they're letting it breathe. I'm like, what are y'all doing right now? Yeah. Why? Why is this happening? (laughs) This is my vibe. Mm. But. Unfortunately, I've tried more times than I should. I probably tried to like Future more than Kid Cudi. And I cannot do it, bro. <laughs> future, you talking about generally speaking about or this particular future project? Or all Future. All Future. Okay, I've tried gotcha. this, that. I mean, he. don't get me wrong. He got a few that I was like, okay, this is undeniable for me. Right, right, right. You know, where you at? You know, uh, Tony Montana. He got certain ones. I'm like, okay, these is going. But You named the Drake just, features. That was nasty. But go I ahead. Mean, I mean, I had to put it in your hand. <laughs> back, you know what I'm saying? I had to put. I had to put your first hit. I had to put it in your hand. You back know what I'm saying? says it all, bro. Yeah, man. That was know. nasty work, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did? <laughs> that was nice crazy. Like I didn't it even too. notice either. That's so that's nice it. It's so embedded. It's so embedded. Mm-hmm. I didn't, anyway, so but no. Uh, I mean, future. I mean, sure. I, I I see why people like this, but my issue always is with future is that, especially on this project, I I don't like your. I don't like his tone. I never liked his auto tune settings. And I don't believe you are this type of guy. Like every time you do this, this side of it, the R&B try, I don't believe you. It never, it doesn't, it never comes off like that to me. Like I would believe, I believe 21 more in this relationship space, wherever he pops out and does his maybe auto tune or just little raps or whatever, Usher feature or whatever on the uh, the, uh, the Drake, you know, collab album. I believe him more. Every time Future does this, I don't believe it. And I just felt like on this project, I was like, dang, Max, you you wasted the, mm-hmm. you should have gave this, you should have gave this, to, <laughs> y'all gonna kill me for this. You should have gave this to Post Malone or, or you should have gave this to like somebody that li- like really, Ooh. I mean, maybe don't Sway Lee, up. somebody else. I just, don't Future. Don't bro. Don't log Future, no, nah. nah, Sway Lee, Sway Lee would have bodied no a lot of these, though. He should have gave it to somebody else. Future is not the one for it. Like the, it was clearly like way past Future's uh, wheelhouse, bro. Like this, this production was ridiculous. But I just Future just sound to me always sounds like any nigga can have a drink, throw the tune on, and have uh, so many hours to just come up with these hooks, bro. Like that's how it always sounds to me. And I try to like them with no bias, but I, I just Future takes me out of it. But the weekend, goodness gracious. I didn't want to like it, but that nigga went crazy. There's something about talk, popping your popping your trash when you in a melodic. It's, it hits so different. So yeah, saying that, it, saying this in a nigga is different. Yes, that is different, right? Yes. We can't body that shit. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he did. Um, I agree with y'all, man. Like, shout out to Metro, bro. Like this nigga, he elevated himself. In like, if anybody won in this beef, it's him. Like whatever well, I don't happens, know, though. He took a shot. Though. He took a mean gut punch, though. He did, and and niggas gonna be able to say that for a long time. But nigga, these drums gonna cost you, nigga. <laughs> you you want to diss, nigga, nigga, nigga? Imagine what these drums cost you, nigga. I just did two fifty five with Future, and I'm I expected to do at least two hundred <laughs> this next week, two weeks later, nigga. So yeah, you tell me to get to them drums, nigga. But I'm taxing you, mm-hmm. so I can I can live with that. Um, I don't think there's nobody better to do this than Future. Like y'all said, Sway Lee and Post Malone, like, yeah, that's cool. But the thing about Future, it ain't, it ain't even got to be like bars. It ain't even got to be like in depth. It's just, it's Future saying it. He has that. He's one of the niggas that have benefited so much from this generation of not having to do interviews. I don't know yeah. this nigga. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know that he's not the nigga. Like you was talking about Mo in the R&B. I don't know that he's not that nigga, that he's not that toxic, that he don't do those drugs. I don't know that. So him only saying it on the records registers even harder for me because it's like, oh, this nigga, he's sick. It's a sick nigga right here. Like the memes say, this is a sick Negro. Like the shit that you be hearing him saying, getting off, you like only Future could do that and make it sound well like oh, I'm vibing with that and we in the club, the bitches like it. Like that, he's the only person that can get this off. Now, all of that being said, this, this is not for me. I understand when nigga, like he in his bag, it ain't the bag that I like though. The other yeah. album was the album for me I, I I get what you're saying, A B. Like, 
as far as listening to it, I'm, like, oh, nah, I'm fucking with that because I've heard a lot of people who have said that. It's just it's not the bag for me. This is the reason why I give Future all the props in the world is being like, I'm, I wasn't the nigga outside that was banging the Future, but as I go back and listen to it and see the response that the younger generation gives to it, or even people of our age give to it, I see the impact that he's made. I understand it. I understand him getting off to these songs and saying the things that he said where if anyone else said it, I would roll my eyes and be like, man, get the fuck out of here. But being that it's Future... And the mystique and the lure that's around him and all the memes and shit, then yeah, it makes perfect sense. And he plays right into it. It's, it's a good album. It's a good album. It's not anything that I would go back and listen to. It's not anything that I would bang because Melodic Future, Hendrix mm -hmm. Future is not for me. The future that I'm looking for is Dirty Sprite 2 or the one that just came out on We Don't, we don't Trust, trust you. you. Yeah. However, I understand how he gets this off. And that's mm -hmm. that's a that's a a major compliment for me saying that because usually I can just be like, man, this shit's some slaw. I don't want to hear this nigga doing no R and B shit like that. Like, <laughs> however, this is one of the few things that I listen to where I really don't fuck with, but I understand. I, I see how he getting this mm -hmm. off. Like, nah, I, I can understand like going home to Nashville and seeing some of my niggas is younger than me and be like, nah, this shit shit, bro. <laughs> and be like, I, I get it. Nah, I ain't gonna, I I ain't gonna hold you. I, I was over my folks house. We was, we was chilling, had the little sushi chef. And we had this playing in the background, and it was it was perfect. It was the perfect setting for the vibe, say, hey, bro. Like yeah. that you shit would just <laughs> and everybody outside, like you gotta be listening in the future, bro. It's just that's just sliding, bro. Like just I, give me the instrumental album. That'll be great, bro. The instrumental album will be great. Come on, I ain't gonna lie. Let's, the beats is crazy. Come on, shouts out to uh, Dre for the Marvin's room, man. He opened he said he opened that up for y'all. That Toxic Lane, he opened that's it up point. for y'all. Yeah, that's a very good point. God. That's all. <laughs> No yeah, lies Twilight. detected. This Next up, man, Twilight Jeezy, your mans. Man. Young Jeezy had a show here last week on the 11th. And so y'all like, why y'all talking about the Jeezy show? Well, it was a <laughs> playlist concert where fans got to pick the songs that were played. They got to make the set list. So it was a lot of B-sides, a lot of mixtape joints. Thought that was a super dope idea. I didn't. I wasn't in attendance. I don't think anyone here was, but I've heard good things. But I do want to ask the my esteemed guest here, Mo, I'll start with you. If you could have any artist do a show like this, a playlist joint where you get to pick the songs, who would you want to see? Wheezy F, baby. Please say the baby. Yeah, Come on, bro. Give me that Drought 3 joint. Give me some of them no ceilings. I mean, I know Spike would probably say, give me some of them squad joints. Like, hey, look, I need, I need that upgrade you. I need to jump over. I, bro, I could go. I ain't going to go down his his discography when we talk mixtapes. But absolutely, Lil Wayne, we want a mixtape Wheezy tour today. Like, give me... Like, if they can make a playlist, let's do that, man. Like, I, I mean... Why has he not done that? I feel like it's a missed opportunity. A, a mixtape Wheezy night. That's he need to get out. He need to get out of the studio. <laughs> God, like get out of the studio. <laughs> you and Kendrick, come out. Like come outside, he don't even man. Know what this is? Like he don't even know what to play. Like he he can't I even. Twenty One Savage was a band. That's true. Oh, that was crazy. Man. So definitely Lil Wayne, man. Yeah. Who you I got? didn't take into account Mo being here when I came over my ass and I said the same mixtape mm -hmm. Wheezy. Yeah, it's made, like that's the like mixtape wheezy though. I don't want none of the Carters. I don't want none of the hot boy shit. I want mixtape. None of the hot boy too. shit. Are you sure? Maybe <laughs> some of the hot boy shit at the end, <laughs> but I want from Squad One up to goddamn No Ceilings and No Requests. We doing a mixtape wheezy. Give me everything off the mixtapes that y'all want to hear. That's that that's I, I I don't know if I would miss that. I don't if that's in New York, New Orleans, L.A. Miami, wherever you want to have that at, I ain't paying too much for it. But yeah, it's, it's a recession out here. But Ooh. I would be willing to play a pay a pretty penny for a mixtape Wheezy fan pick night playlist. Yeah, now that's fire. Um, and I, 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 I'm, I'm not, I can't disagree with that. That's obviously a go. That's obviously a must see TV yeah. event. I'm gonna go niche. I'm going label, man. I, I, I like. I'd have to go to a no limit show, no bro. Limit. And I gotta pick the. Mm. I gotta pick the songs. I gotta pick the. If I could pick the. If I can get Mac Fiend, like the OG, like, and I get to pick the songs, I'll. I right, saw it. Let me get that. Mm, that's because I'm picking nigga all lines and OGs in the street. Like, I'm playing. I'm <laughs> like that. I need that. I'm going super niche. I know some people are gonna be like no limit. Yes, nigga, and yeah. that motherfucker. Then the show gonna be popping. I'm fucking I mean, with that. Straight I mean, camo. Like I will say a number two since Spike picked that. I would say probably like 
a Kanye B, maybe even Seaside. I need to hear that spaceships. I've been oh, yeah. working in slave Great. ships. Yeah. And I know I he ain't, bro. That. Come on. I know. Bro, I, I need that. A B side well, Kanye show would be crazy. Yes. Since we both picked that one, and if I had to pick another one, mine would be Cameron and the Diplomats. Like, mm. the, like the, the fans pick though. Mm. Like that would be the the like okay. all the all of the I mean, I feel like that's the same. That's one and the same though. Diplomatic immunity. But you would add Cameron too. I like, need come home with me. I need okay, Joe okay, Jones okay, okay. picks. I, okay, I, I want you. the whole gotcha. crew there, and I'm picking my favorite ones off of everything and the diplomatic community. Oh yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. That, that would be my second one. Would be Cameron and and the diplomats. No, nah, that's a go for sure. Y'all, let us know in the comments, man. Give 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 us somebody that y'all. If it was a playlist concert, man, who would it be? Absolutely, AB Rock Nation. They're producing a doc for the infamous Rucker Park Street Ball Tournament. I got two questions for you guys, Mo, A, B. One, or would you watch this? Because we've heard all of the tales from the Rucker Street Ball Tournament. And two, will we ever get the Rockefeller doc that we want? <laughs> will we get that joint? A, B, I'll start with you. Uh, am I watching this for sure? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. This has got to be a dream project for, for like Rock Nation. Like this is this is the cool shit, and I, and I know we've been at this for a while, but this is the ultimate goal. I can speak for myself and probably you, to get to a place where we can cherry pick certain shit that we can just go make a documentary about it. We they nigga, nigga just give us a check and we can go go make something you want to make. If you're from New York, you want to make the goddamn uh street ball, goddamn it, Rucker Park documentary. You want to be the nigga to do that. So I respect that they're doing this, and there's a large amount of people who want to see this because <laughs> we all know the stories. We it's seen Kobe it's, there. We seen all KB of that. There. Durant like, been up there. Niggas, Facts, you know what is the terror squad versus Jay Z shit? Yeah. All they got the footage. I'm sure they got the footage. Niggas ain't seen. Like we, we need all of that. So let me say that kudos to them for doing cool shit that the culture wants to see. I hope it's executed better than the um the freak Nick joint. Mm -hmm. And what was the second question? Will we ever get the real Rockefeller doc? Yeah, I don't know if Not we're gonna good. get that, but I, I, if we do get it, let's. I, I would rather get that in the form of like a series of niggas playing. Oh, you want it to be a, a drama, like the yeah, OJ like a people shit? versus OJ type shit. Really, you would prefer that versus a real documentary? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I would. Mm -hmm. Mo, you it's in the same boat? It's gonna be tough to do with niggas still alive and shit. But I would, I would, I would do that though. <laughs> I'd want to see that. Wow. For sure. I don't know, man. I may. I think I may prefer the doc in that. But Mo, I let you go, and then I go from there. I like that. I I think I've been saying for a long time. They need like how they did the not NWA but the Wu Tang. They need an outcast version of that. I've been championing that for so long. Like That'd how they met in high school. I need that. So. But uh, it, but as far as this goes, can't keep telling me to speak about the Rucker. Matter of fact, I don't. Want, all right. But yeah, man. Sure. Why not? Like if the trailer's popping and they selling me on it, like oh man, they hit hit you with all of the doom, doom, doom. You know, I'm in. I'm all in for it. If they got the footage, the footage is essential. Need we that. seen what they yeah if we seen what they did with genius like you know that was great like all that Kanye footage oh, okay good but if I don't want more confessionals than footage That's good I'm good with the confessionals because it gives them the real time and like Fat Joe I mean we know he was a part of it and Fat Joe is a hip -hop, hip hop historian at his finest but if if we don't have enough footage I'm not interested I don't really yeah, care about retelling the story you talking yeah you could do it on the pod. Like they doing with the notorious tracks and stuff like that. We can we can do that on the pod. As far as the Rockefeller thing, that ain't gonna never happen because if if Jay and Dame can't piece it up, we ain't never gonna have, we ain't gonna never be able to do it. You know, I mean, unless somehow Jay figures out how to take him completely out of it, and there's no kind of form of cease and assist. If that if he can't it. if he can't do that, then he won't. You know, but yeah, I, that ain't that ain't gonna never happen, bro. I'm not interested in anything Rockefeller without Dame Dash being involved. And that don't mean that he need creative control. That I was just about that. to say, nigga, are you sure? <laughs> have nah, you seen the I'm movies saying, he been putting out, bro? No, nah, he don't. No, no, no. I mean, look at no that. No creative I'm control, just... bro. I'm just talking about you releasing your name and letting us portray your image. I don't need you to make it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm here for the doc. Because if you came up in the era that we came up in hip hop, you heard niggas rapping about this forever, what they did at the Rucker. We seen Jim Jones get... <laughs> stole on at the ruck and run off and climb the gate. We seen Kevin Durant. We seen Kobe. We seen all of these infamous things. So yeah, that would be LeBron. fire. LeBron. That would be fire tying that into hip hop and making a great doc from it. 
I'm on the fence, A B, as far as the series versus a real documentary. I'm not sure. Like I, I, I was rewatching that OJ joint. Flames. And yeah, the, I don't know not, which I'm one. Not which talking one? About, I, I'm talking about the Made in America. Oh, that yeah, that, that's 30 a classic. Thirty though. joint. Yeah, that's a classic. Yeah, I'm talking about the documentary that we were yeah. talking about more on another week in the books. <clears throat> I think Just I would rather her. have the Rockefeller story told that way. Like, yeah, it would be cool to have it like in the drama version where we're doing a remake of it and you get characters and stuff like Wu-Tang. That would be fine. I don't know if it would do the justice that it needed to be done for Rockefeller, though. I think people really are starting to forget like the, the, the impact that Rockefeller Records paid, played in that era of music. And I think we need that in a real form, nonfiction like real deal documentarian, like this is how this shit happened. This is how these niggas set trend and became some of the biggest names in hip hop where they took Rock of uh, Wear to 400 million, where they took Pro Kids and all these other different things that they were doing wow, and just kids. how the relation, Pro Kids. I had just the relationship. Wow. I had them joints. Just the relationships that, 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 that happened, talking to Jess Blaze, talking to State Property, bringing Benny Siegel in there, getting the confessionals from freeway and like just it, it would be so epic if we had that i would say damn to say last dance type event where you're doing a 10 part mm. documentary and you get everybody in there i yeah. need jay and dame and big to sign off on that i think that's what hip-hop needs and the second one behind that i don't think a lot of people have said we've been asking asking this before on this show that jay prince doc will be fired too of course. It made me think about it when they was talking about like who Drake owed and shit in the disses and shit, but we need that and I'll take either either version of this. I'll take the doc version or the dramatic we acting it version for Jay Prince, but that that rap a lot Jay Prince rise to fame. I think the world need to see that too. I I'll say this first of all, neither one of y'all had pro kids. That was cap. Second, I definitely had pro kids. Man, you, I, I don't had believe y'all. I remember a chick called you hating on me because I had the pro kids on. Dog, you see that? I, <laughs> I had the pro kids. Rightfully so. What are you talking about? I and I loved them joints. I had the white navy and gold. The pro kids gold joint. Yeah, ain't no damn. I way. had the pro kids joints. I had the pro kids joints. Ain't no way. Bro. But no, Absolutely. real quick though. Last day, I was thinking last dance in the back of my head, a 10 part series, but the, also let's not sleep on what was done during the pandemic. We had the No Limit Chronicles, we had Fire, the Rough Rider Chronicles, we had the Murder Inc. Those, those were three for three, those mm -hmm, were good, yeah. solid bodies of work. People were involved, like the right people were involved with them. They had they weren't corny, they told the story how it was supposed to be told. It was a lot of nostalgia, shit maybe people didn't know. Those worked. So, if it that was those were like three part joints. So if you want to go three part Chronicles, Rock of Rockefeller, you want to go epic 10 part OJ slash last dance, or you want to go, you know, drop dramatic series. Count me in for all of this. I don't really give a fuck, but if yeah, as long as everybody got to be involved with the documentary shit, you can't have a documentary yeah. shit with no Jay. You can't yeah, have a documentary no shit with no Dame. I need everybody there. And, and, and I don't remember that's where it's not going to work. This off? You remember what kicked it off in the pandemic? It was that Wu-Tang joint. It was the Wu Tang joint that came on Showtime. Yes, now now before they did the dramatic, the mice, oh the mice of men. You re, mice yeah, of you remember man, they yeah. did that, that mice of men. Too, That's bro. what kicked this off, and that was fire. Yeah, that's and you hard. talking to two people that don't even like Wu Tang. Nah, I don't listen to the show. Like you I mean, was, three people, three people exactly. <laughs> that's what good as hell though. And I rich, but to you talking yeah. to people that don't even like Wu Tang, bro? And I was locked into that mice of men, yeah. and that's what yeah that that's what the Rockefeller joint need to look like. I can see that. That'll work. For sure. Uh, see, let's keep it moving, man, before we get to these wins and these losses. If you listen to the future, toward the end, there's a clip of Charlemagne saying that future is the most influential artist of the last 10 years. Let's get straight to it. Lou, is this fact or fiction? This is a fact. Uh, Charlemagne. I don't is believe right. that. Yeah, this is a fact. Charlemagne. Wayne right, died, man. nigga? The fuck? <laughs> Over the last about? 10 years? We talking yeah. about from 2014? Yeah, the 2024 is future, man. Like everybody want to be like future. Everybody want to be like Pluto. Uh, he's the one that people are mimicking. And then it makes you understand when he comes out and he drops, we don't trust you and we still don't trust you. He's the originator of this sound. I'm the only person that could do all of this shit that these niggas are trying to sound like. And it's a dud. I'm the one that's doing it correctly. And even though you don't fuck with it, you still listen to it because I'm future, nigga. I'm the nigga that everybody referencing and everybody doing this shit like. So, yeah, I, I think the Charlemagne was right. Like, as far as the last 10 years, if we're going outside of 10 years, there are other people that can be brought into the comp 
competition, but I don't think it's one of the people that we would quote unquote call the big three, actually big two now, Drake and Kendrick, because their, their talents are so rare that niggas know that they can't do that. Mm -hmm. I think that they think what future do is easy and mm -hmm. they try to get in there and do it. And then yeah. they come outside and how it sound. And then we hear that. And then we hear future and be like, no, that's that shit. You're acting like that shit. Yeah. So yeah, I would say he's the most influential because people think that they can mimic him more than they can mimic Drake or they can mimic Kendrick Lamar. And it don't happen. And then we hear him and boom. So, yeah, Drake I said I'm in the big three twice. <laughs> he had cut that Cole shit. out, man. Cut Cole out. I didn't man. know if he was cutting Cole or Kendrick out. I, I didn't know if he was cutting out either, but that shit was funny. Nah, he cutting Cole because Cole was like, oh, it's Cole just gotta us be two. somewhere was... sour right now, bro. Nah, he ain't not nah, take that, bro. He's sour. No Cole's... Diddy, no Diddy, no Diddy. Mo, what do you think, out. man? Is uh is future numero uno in the last 10 years? Nah, man. Come on, Snicky Minaj, bro. What are we talking about? Huh? Uh, that's a good point. That's, huh? that's a good point. When she by the time she 2014, she got the pink print. Cause she she really that's, put that a lot is. of labor in that's right before 2010. Point. And Damn. she was cooking and she was the only one at the top. And then That's 2014, true. that pink print, and we can go on further, her discography or whatnot, but like the mixtape run before that and then getting point. to that point, by the time she was at pink print and doing Queen and all these other ones, we started to see a lot of that. I mean, Cardi. Bro, people, yeah. Cardi, people praise Doja hey, Cat. Boy, and I fire. see I hey, Doja fire. Cat is a direct daughter of well, Nicki. Yeah, I don't all, care. All of them are though. If, if Nicki would have stayed in the super bass lane, that's, that's literally Doja. Yeah, for sure. So I, I think that shouts out to our women, our queens out here. But I, I got to say, Nikki, man, like this, all of them are pulling these different portions and angles of how Nikki was. I think future is great, too. But I think we got to really look at Nikki for real. I, and I, we wish she would get more involved and credit, you know, but, you know, whatever. They are her sons, as she say. But I, I definitely got to say Nikki, bro. Now, that's Real a quick good before one. you go, A.B., the reason that that one is so good is because we see so many popular females now like yeah. in the mainstream and all of them have some nikki in them whether yeah, they like her or not yeah. it don't matter if you like me or not the niggas that's emulating future they don't make it to where sexy red or lotto or ice, ice spice, spice. Or any of those people yeah. are so yeah that's a that's a good that was fire right there mo right on that's a good point i was gonna say that future may not be number one he's on the mount rushmore of yes, most influential in the last 10 years i'll say that and then now the real question is who's the other three but Nikki for sure is a very that's a, that's a really good one, and I disagree. I think Drake may be up there too because people may not be able to emulate it, but they try to. If you didn't rap and sing, there was a point late. I mean, early twenty tens, you had to rap and sing, bro. Like you have to. Like it's not enough to be able to rap no more. You can't harmonize, bro. You're not getting no deal. Like everybody is doing it. That comes from a big piece of that comes from Drake, and a big piece of the trap niggas doing it comes from Future. For sure, mm -hmm. but Drake was before him though. Like so, like that's the that's the difference. So I don't know who fills out the rest of the Mount Rushmore, but Future is on it. Nikki is on it, and mm -hmm. I believe Drake is on it. Now the last place, if you want to go, Travis. If you want to go, Kanye. Last ten mm -hmm. years, you, there, there's there's an argument. You. <laughs> you said who? And, and and the flip. I said it's not J Cole. <laughs> it's I or not you, or I would say Doug, flip, but he he's from the Future Tree, so. I don't know. We gonna give it some years, but I think that we might have to. Y'all gonna don't please don't throw me out of here. But I think we might have to consider Bryson. No, he, <laughs> but he from the Drake tree, adjacent. Though. He from the Drake tree. Okay, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You know but I mean? that trap soul though, like Drake. It, it, I mean, if you, hey, all right, I can't go there. I I've don't want to take all the time. I've heard people from your generation say that from trap soul like this. Period. That's a classic. Like, but I, I, I was you just don't get that without Marvin's room. room though. did. You know, the Marvin room, people don't understand how much weight they hold, but that's another conversation. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that is definitely fair. What you got, man? All right, man, before we get to these wins and these losses, A.B., Vince Staples, he wanted to be the wet blanket on the <laughs> uh, the wet blanket on the picnic when he came out on the Joe Budden podcast and other, other places. And he was like, man, everybody paying attention to this beef. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are being manipulated. Y'all are paying attention to the wrong things. They're still stealing our publishing. The songwriter is not being credited in hip hop like it is in other genres. Y'all are paying attention to the wrong things in the hip hop community. And of course, this stemmed from all of the talk that's been going back and forth that we just did with the Drake beef and everything that goes on with this. My question to you two guys. Does Vince Staples have a point here, or is he doing too much? Mo, I'm going to toss this to you. 
I get your sentiment, Vince. I mean, Vince is a very intelligent guy. We definitely tune in when he speaks, you know, but at the end of the day, like, was you saying this when people were watching the Vince Staples show? Was you saying that on when we was watching it on Netflix? Are uh, we focused too much on critiquing the Vince Staples show? We should have been focusing on publishing? Hmm. Like, bro, like, I get it. I do get it. But it's like there's something about that person that comes in a room that's like, bro, just let me have this moment. And you just always <laughs> got to come. Th- <laughs> you got to be the man. nigga that always make it so serious where now you about to have a kickback. You like, I ain't about to bite, bite Vince over now because he's going to turn into something else. We just try to have a couple sips, a little something, something here. We just kicking it. I can't bite. Yeah, Vince can't come over today, bro, because it, it, he makes so much sense. But he it's like he don't know how to pick his spots or even build towards that transition. Like I heard him on the JBP. You know what I'm saying? It's like he didn't build towards the transition of how we got there. And you make us, and then you try to make it like, oh, we're ignorant for paying like attention to this. Yeah, like we're dumb. Like, no, we're not dumb. But, bro, what you're speaking about and the struggle you're talking about, majority of this country don't understand. So I can't relate. It, I can't relate, bro. We're, we're trying, some of us are living check to check, and you're talking about publishing. You're talking about publishing, doing what you love to do when most of America hates what they do for a living. <laughs> I hear you, bro, but I don't. So I, I, I love this stables, but, bro. Pick a struggle, my dude. Like, for real. Yeah, I, I, I fuck with Vince Stable a long way. This is the epitome of scaring the hoes, bro. Like, just <laughs> you coming through, bro. You want to be serious? What you talking about the war and shit, nigga? We got things, <laughs> we got music playing. You this talking about Iran serious. versus Iraq, bro? Yep. Bro, we know we trying to get we trying to get away for that shit for an hour and a half, fam. Like, turn the music back on, bro. You know, pause the music and hey, 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 like, what are you doing? Yeah. Let me holler at y'all real quick, though. Let me holler at you, like, bro. <laughs> turn this shit back on, dude. What are you doing? You killing the vibe, bro. So that I get it. That's fair. There's always one guy that does this. Mm-hmm. I hate mm-hmm. it had to be Vince because mm-hmm. I'm a fan. But don't pick just like Mo said. Don't pick and choose, man. Don't tell niggas to run up the streams on your show. Nigga, that's cool to watch that. I ain't getting no education out of that shit. <laughs> or barely got entertainment out of it, but that's another mm-hmm. story. Mm-hmm. Like, don't, like, so don't do that. Don't, if you're going to be the read a book, nigga, then be the read a book, nigga, 24 hours, seven days a week, dude. Don't, not, not only when you got a show out, it's cool, but when the beef shit, the entertaining, most entertaining shit in hip hop in a 15 years is going on, you telling me to turn away, nigga, for publishing. Uh, what? Recollect. It's like, what? But I, I, yeah. but I get it. I'm, I'm not. I'm a, I'm a creative myself. I get it. I'm not even saying that what he's saying not valid. Mm-hmm. There's a time and a place for it, though, bro. Just don't do it in the middle of the party, nigga. Just this nigga, nigga. This shit was turned. What are you? What are you doing? This nigga is the ultimate troll, uh, in the sense of he's the nigga that's riding with you and cutting down the music and keep talking, <laughs> but not, but not, not in the sense that he don't know what he's doing. He's fully aware of what the fuck he's doing. He fully aware of like, nigga, I'm trying to listen to this song, bro. You keep cutting the goddamn song down and talking to me. I don't want to talk, bro. Like we not in that, we not in that space right now. Uh, so one, like y'all, I, I totally agrees with y'all, man. Like stop, bro. But two, he's trolling and he know exactly what he doing. Oh, you think he was? Oh, you think he was trolling? He troll. He he's one million percent. Vince trolling. Staples is the dude that holds the blunt too long and keep talking. And keep talking. Yeah, that's, that's Vince it. Staples. <laughs> Facts. And know what he doing though. Yeah, like it's niggas that do that accidentally, and yeah. it's niggas that do that like, oh damn, my fault, bro. He know exactly what he's yeah. doing. He know what Joe Button called him for on that podcast. Mm-hmm. He knew when the paper asked him in an interview, like he one million percent knows what he's doing. And I mean, I respect it because we know the mind that Vince Staples had from the show, like what y'all said. But nobody want to hear this shit right now, bro. This ain't the time for your trolling. Like niggas is engaged in different shit. Your trolling is not gonna make a difference one way or the other, my nigga. The world's still spinning, man. We can we can get to that tomorrow. Can we talk exactly. about the publishing let shit tomorrow? Let me know about your publishing. Maybe Monday morning. Is, yeah, when this Drake shit over, you let me yeah, know about for, your publishing and how all that shit works. I, I'll be, it, I'm here for it, my nigga. It'll still be an issue. Post a class, yeah. <laughs> do a master class on it, my nigga. I will sign up for it. I'll give you the subscription. Like, do all of that. But wait till this beef shit over, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, bro. Yeah. Uh, man, before we get to these wins and these losses, man. Uh, actually, no, let's get to these wins and losses. Excuse me. First one up, a takeoff lookalike has mm. been moving around doing content in in the mall. Offset called him out. Hey, yo, is this a win or loss to take off lookalike making content? This is a big L, man. This is disgusting. Uh, as I sent this to guy, I got rich in the good in the good earners podcast. I wouldn't sleep till I found this nigga. 
And I don't, I don't even want people necessarily think that that was violent or whatever it might be. Even my lawyer got to send this nigga a cease and desist. Like, stop playing with me, bro. Like, y'all niggas is too comfortable playing around with bullshit. Like, this is bullshit. Yeah. And you getting, like, you, you getting off on this. Like, you know exactly what you're doing and you, like, bullshitting around. Like, if I was offset, excuse me, if I was, um, yeah, if you I was know, offset, if I was yeah. Quavo, I, I couldn't sleep until this nigga was like, like, stop, bro. I, I'll even pay you to stop doing this. Because that's how much my brother mean to me. Yeah. Like, for you out here, like, just doing this to his name, like, I, I you need a million dollars for this? Like, bro, here, 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 bro. I don't believe just, that. Just stop. Just stop, bro. I would. I, I ain't got I no would. meal. Like, if, if a nigga was emulating you, we've been doing this for however many years, a nigga was emulating you and I was up, and this, this nigga out here, hey, oh, I'm AB, and like, bro, like, come on, bro. It's, it's one stop. thing. I, I would pay I would pay him to be like, man, just just, just get out of the it's get, one out thing, of, get out of my life. It's, it's one thing when a person is alive. We've seen Drake look alike, so that nigga done got club yeah, appearances different. and everything. That's, that's one thing. It's another thing when the person is deceased, though. That's where the that's where the distaste yeah, comes in. But go ahead, it's nasty, bro. bro. Yeah, I'm with you. I mean, bro, he was murdered, bro. It's, he wasn't about none, he wasn't on none of that stuff. For how he got murdered, and it's like you out here moving around. It's like, yo, this a come up, yo, this a hustle, bro. I'm about to, you know what? Niggas love to, this nigga. It, he's gone. Yeah, it's wild. People loved him, and he's out of here. That's an L, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I this another week in the book conversation. But I just don't know where men are. Where it's like, I'm not good. I, being me is not good enough. Let me be like a nigga I look like. <laughs> that's crazy. That's weird. You, you niggas is on some me, weirdo weirdo yeah. time, bro. That's a fact. Next up, man, WRL Nelly is back in the clothing business. He announced the return of Apple Bottoms coming this year. Moe's is a WRL. <laughs> this is <laughs> Nelly. Nelly, he, who is his team? Who, he needs to get with Kevin Hart team. Like when he was on Real Husband Hollywood, uh, uh, Real That's Husband of Hollywood. Yes, he That's needs a team to help him with Mark. It's like, I don't know why Nelly just, every time he pops up, it seems like he's out of touch. He needs a different he needs a certain team to get him right because we like Nelly. And he ain't really no smut on his name, but it's like when he come out, he always look old. Like he needs he needs a rebrand on the team to figure out what makes sense for him. Get some cowboy hats or something, bro. I don't That's know. Funny. I don't know, bro. But nah, it's it. For me, it depends on how it looks, man. I, you gonna I, cop? I'm all for <laughs> Nah, I'm not going to cop. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm all for like the independent brands being back popping. That's that like I like Rocco. We talked about Rocco well earlier. All of the, the what was it? What what did Outcast had? What was the name of that shit? Oh, uh, remember the Outcast? Keep talking. I'll yeah, remember it. Yeah, that's too deep for you. But however, yeah. I do like I, I remember when everybody had their own form of clothing. I think this dope. I think this innovative by Nelly man. It's a W. Now yeah, now it's a W if it look good on the chicks. We gotta see how they fit. What they what they fitting like? Cause it's, it's some trends out right now that I'm here for, and there's some trends that I'm like I can't wait for that this shit to go away. Hey, what these apple bottoms fit like, bro? <laughs> if, that, if that's the move for the summer, <laughs> hey, then that's the move for the summer. Then I ain't mad at it, but we have to see. But hey, it's all nostalgia based, man. He got to try it. He'll throw some little dollars at it, see if it stick. You know, low risk, high reward. What was the name of the Outcast clothing line? That's gonna bother the shit out of me because I know it. I'm looking. I'm trying to find it now. Man, that's I, I can see the symbol and everything. Yeah, I can too with the old with the wings and the shit. name of it. The old with the wings on this. Yeah, shit. I'm hot. Mm. Damn. Anyway, uh, somebody screaming at the phone. By the way, nigga, they know exactly what that shit was thanks. called. Oh, uh, <laughs> last one, man. While we look that up, Gerard Carmichael. Oh no, no. Uh, Tyler, the creator, speaks at Coachella when his awkward appearance on the Jamar, Gerard Carmichael show. I'm gonna have to defer to y'all because I did not watch this shit. Mo was was this a W or an L? I didn't watch it either. Um, <laughs> All right, let me fill, let me fill you niggas in. Yeah, please do. So what happened was Cause... Gerard Carmichael has a reality show on HBO. It's similar mm -hmm. to the Truman Show in which Jim Carrey played in a while ago. As to where they're movie. filming you and they're getting all of this intimate footage that you're not aware of. You think you live in your regular life, but they film a TV show. Gerard Carmichael tried to do this, and in the midst of this, <laughs> this nigga. He was like, uh, his feelings for Tyler, the creator. And he wants Tyler, the creator, to be in something more serious with him than a friendship. And he invited him to this. And he told Tyler, the creator, this. And Tyler, the creator, this. Was like, man, get the fuck 
out of my face. <laughs> I ain't he like, funny what you, though. Like, what are you on? What are you on? Uh, it, it's essentially what Tyler the Creator told him. So it's just win or a loss with Tyler even having to address this at Coachella. I think that's where it was. Yeah, I, I'll I, say I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's a win. I mean, just because I move in that that world and this this is the choice, this is this is what I'm into, don't mean that you are <laughs> who I'm looking at. Uh, I mean, I think the movie, I think the TV show poster is nuts, though. They got, they got Ger- Gerard Carmichael in a whitey tight. He's like, what are we doing, bro? Uh, I'm super Gerard, good I get it, but come on. He leaned but way on, too bro. much into but yeah, that, that, like, yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, and he, that, that, it feels so yeah. off-brand for Gerard. But anyway, that's another conversation. I don't want to belabor it. But yeah, I, I, it's a dub, I think, for Tyler Creator. Just not at that place, but just establishes, like, just because we are similar in what we're into don't mean that I like you, that's bro. Funny. That's funny that he yeah, uh, yeah, sure. It's a it's a W for the promo for the Gerard Carmichael show. I don't know what them numbers looking like, but he just got nah, a boost. Do yeah. it. Hey, don't watch it. Do not watch it. Oh, I didn't say I was you, gonna watch it. I just it? said it was a it was no, a W. I've, I've heard for the promo. I haven't. Why you the second person to ask me that? I said no. I, I say, did not watch this shit. I say, Yo, However, I've heard how awkward it is, and like, yeah, I'm telling. Like, first of all, I'm not clicking with nothing with Jamar. Like him standing there in tidy mm-hmm. whiteies. I will never click that. Mm-mm. That that is there is no way on earth that I'm clicking that. But yeah, I'm not clicking that's anything for the nigga in tidy whiteies, dude. The, the, uh, unless it's Breaking he's Bad. There. That's <laughs> that's what the thumbnail is. Right. He's standing there in tidy whiteies in the thumbnail. Like, bro, come on. I'm good. Yeah. And it looked like Outcast shit was just called Outcast clothing. I don't remember. I thought it had a name though. It was it was something different. I I, I kept looking too and kept seeing Outcast clothing, but it was something different. That wasn't the name of it though. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it I don't was know. Not the name of it. Uh, yeah, so. somebody yeah, let us know, know in the comments, is, man. What was the name I of Outcast clothing line, man? Let us know. Um, on Decker of the Week, let's get to these YouTube comments. Yo, shout out to Public Enemy B. He said, Yo, Sexy Red doing a TED talk is ridiculous. <laughs> shout out to him. Um, shout out to D Williams 325. He said, Man, I was waiting on this. Spike saying cold not built like that is crazy. This definitely goes differently if it was not Kendrick and the opponent, the opponent is formidable. He's son Lil Pump. No name is a woman, so he couldn't go too crazy. But we've seen this before with Wale. He not too crazy with the homies. Now, if Big Sean want to try it, then Cole is going to fry him. Love the show, fellas. Appreciate it. D. Williams, thank you, my guy. What do y'all think? If if this was Big Sean, would he would have wasted him? D. Williams, you were insane. He would have did You don't think he would have went at Big Sean? Sean? No, he would. He, he would have stuck wow. his chin out. No, he would have said, "Big Sean, you the homie. I'm sticking my chin out." Nah, they not Take homies like shot. that. Though no. they don't Take go back. It like don't matter. No. It's J cold. Cole. J Cole gets zero bail. Stop, y'all. Yeah, y'all like, listeners, stop. No oh, he would have. No, you had an opportunity. Nigga had to strap on you. You had to strap as well. Y'all pointing at each other. and You put the gun down and put your hands up. You had your chance. Like you meme. missed it. Like the meme that's going around. He said, "Let me out, though, though." That's like, like, like that's the funniest get, shit. Go get your Yo, pack off. Go get your pack off this beat. I don't want it. Yeah, I don't so want let it. Out. Let me exactly, out, though. Bro. Let me out. Nah, bro. You had your chance. Here, you show man. who you was. You ain't built like that. Yeah, bro. I ain't giving you no grace. Nigga. Yeah, stop that. I don't that. give a fuck. It could have been. It could have been any. It could have been. Uh, what's 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 my man name? Corday. It could have been Y and B Corday or whatever the fuck his name it is. Man, he would have bowed out then. Yeah, real real quick, who you said you was? Lupe said, "There's no rapper in the world that wants it with him." To not one, I could see. I could see him saying it, and I respect it. But but nobody wants to hear Lupe in a rap beef. Yeah, but ain't nobody gonna, trying to go. go yeah, you're gonna go way over though. over people's It's head. not interesting, like, bro. Like, Lupe you, will lose a rap beef you, because nobody knows what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, like, like, nobody easily. knows. Like you, you literally rapped about a slave ship coming from Africa. This whole like, album bro, was like, it? What yeah. the fuck are you talking about, my nigga? Like he cold though. Yeah. Let's be yeah, clear. Yeah, now. You right. You might. It was good. You might be right, but no one cares, bro. Lupe would be the one to make a song that be killing it in this super deep way and then turn around when no response is happening from the fans and they'd be like, man, y'all missed it. Y'all niggas asleep. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. How did y'all? Yeah, that's... Come we're on, good, bro. bro. We're yeah, good. We're, we're good. We're Listen, good. man. Another week in the books with the On Deck TV show. Mo, we appreciate you pulling up for this Drake debate. Anytime we're talking Drake, man, I need you on, man. I need the reinforcements because Lou be hating. Oh, my God. Please, no. I don't, I don't need the double But no team. reason. Put on. Put on. No put on. Oh, yeah, things? my bad. My bad. Go uh, put on, Lou. What you got for me? Man, if y'all have seen the preview for the movie Civil War and y'all thought oh, I'm on the fence, I don't know if I want to see it, man, go see that fucking movie. I I I don't I'm not a movie buff like AB. I don't go to the movies a lot. I do go to the stuff that I feel like will catch my attention. 
I've seen a couple of things this year, Book of Clarence. This movie is fire. I I highly recommend, especially if you're into politics, especially if you're into like, I don't even know what you need to be into to see this, but go see this movie, man. This, this shit was fire. I heard it. I've heard good things. Mo, what you got? Civil War was great. A few put ons. I mean, obviously another week in the books. Uh, me and Spike Lou. Uh, good earners. You can look at y'all, y'all on YouTube on On Deck TV. YouTube, y'all can see his backgrounds. That's what we evolved in. But I would say, man, uh, since it's been kind of a dr- big Drake episode, man, y'all go check out uh, uh, all them all them disses that he had on Kendrick, man. Y'all go check out all them joints, uh, man. And that's it. Like just Jodeci in, 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 in particular. Like bars mm. sound like I'm under oath, nigga. Yeah, go go back and listen to that Jodeci. Right. Yeah, go to go to Jodeci. Yep. Talk that shit. Um. <laughs> Real quick, I hit the movies up this weekend, too. I had a choice to go see Civil War or Arcadian. I chose Arcadian. I'm going to go see Civil War anyway. You but made the wrong choice. It's a good movie, though. It's a good movie. with uh, It's an independent joint with Nicolas Cage. I don't know where he been at. I ain't watching Nicolas Cage movies since Face Off. But this shit was pretty dope. Uh, it kind of reminded me of A Quiet Place, minus the sh- you know the whole shuck of not being able to talk. But it's some end of the world, aliens, un- or some type of monster that took over type shit. It's really good. Um, I suggest y'all check it out, or at least when it hits streaming sites, check it out. You ain't got to go run and see it in a the theater, spend twenty dollars. But it is good. It is a good movie if you was on the fence. Um, anything else, man? Before we get out of here, man. That's it, man. We appreciate you coming through, huh? Yes, sir. Thank y'all for having me. Absolutely, Absolutely. man. To the next time, we'll see y'all later. Peace.